It was temperatures that have never been seen before in Canada, records being set and then surpassed the very next day. And many were calling the BC heat wave and the resulting wildfire season unprecedented. But here's the thing, experts have seen this coming for quite some time. Well, we've been predicting for a number of years now, in fact, I guess maybe 15 years, that wildfires are going to be more frequent and they're going to occur over a longer fire season. What we've actually seen in the southern US is there's no longer a fire season. The fire season lasts the entire year. And ultimately that could happen here. So why is this happening? Quite simply climate change. We know that it is getting warmer. We know that the snow cover is changing. What we're seeing is an increased frequency of drought. Uh, so the conditions are drier and that's resulting in more fuel being available for fires. Already we've seen the area burned by wildfires in Canada double since the 1970s, and as the climate warms, the number is likely to increase. On top of that, with growing populations, more and more people are moving closer to forests. So how do we live with wildfires? Well, Dr. John Innes, the Dean of Forestry at UBC, says the first step is to make sure the entire province is fire smart. He says homeowners need to learn how to fireproof their homes and community landscapes need to be built to be more fire resistant. So we need to have fire breaks built into the landscape. They can be associated with roads, for example, or with rivers. We need to have a big enough barrier that enables the fire control people to come in and actually have a chance of stopping a fire. But to really fix the problem, Innes says we need to take a closer look at forest management. Right now, more than 80% of trees in BC are coniferous. One of the things that could be done is have more broadleaves in the landscape. Uh, we tend to actually eliminate broadleaves whenever possible uh, because we want to have productive conifers that are going to produce lumber. If we had more broadleaves in many places, we could actually have both material for lumber, or not necessarily lumber, but for engineered wood products, um, or we could, at the same time, have a landscape that's more resistant to fire. And I've seen that in places like China, for example. The fire breaks consist of broadleaf species. When you look at a, a hillside, you'll see a stripe going up it, which is you have the Chinese fir on either side, the plantations, and in the middle you have a strip of broadleaves, and that's actually as a fire protection. And we could do the same with aspen and with birch and with a few other broadleaves that we have growing here. Alder is another one. But unfortunately, even if we apply all these precautions, and it says tragedies like the one we saw in Lytton will still occur. There will still be aggressive and fast moving fires that will continue to destroy homes, communities, and even villages in British Columbia.